Hello, I'm Lauren James and I'm very excited today to tell you a bit about my new upcoming book with Walker Books in September, Green Rising. This is a climate fiction thriller set a few years in the future from now about a world even closer to the brink of climate disaster and about some teenagers who decide to take matters into their own hands and try and stop the corporations who are causing this crisis through negligence. So it's about politics, it's about standing up for what you believe in and taking direct action. It's also a little bit about magic because my teenage activists have the power to grow plants from their skin and they use this to rewild the planet and demonstrate the effects of pollution on our natural ecosystem. I studied chemistry and physics at uni so the book is heavily based in real science. I did a lot of research into the cutting edge climate technology in terms of stuff like carbon capture, geoengineering and solar seeding and all of these kind of hypothetical techniques which are supposed to help us save the planet and I use that real information combined with some politics about the uh, ethics of space travel and billionaires <laughs> and oil industry tycoons to create a world which is a little bit different from our own but is quite similar in a lot of ways. As with a lot of my books, the story revolves around a romance, this time between my central characters, uh, Hester and Theodore. Uh, Theodore is the son of a family of fishermen in the UK, and Hester is the sole heir to a oil fortune. They meet when Theo is hired by Hester's company for a new project investigating whether the Greenfinger's magical plant powers can be used to make biofuels. Immediately Theo questions Hester's beliefs about climate change and the uh, threats that the planet is facing which she doesn't believe are a huge risk to the planet and he beliefs are very very scary. As they come to understand each other's point of view they realise that their powers need to be used for something beyond having a bit of fun with plants and that it gives them a unique opportunity to have a power as teenagers in a world where usually decisions about climate change are made by corporations rather than individuals. So many of the climate fiction books I read either focus on the effect that individuals can have in terms of personal consumption rather than looking at how industry and businesses are causing climate pollution. They also tend to be pretty dystopian and uh, depressing looks at the future world we're going to end up with. Whereas I wanted to write something that was a bit more optimistic and hopeful and showed a path forward to a better world with clear instructions about what we should actually be doing. I also wanted to make it clear to my young scared readers that it is not their responsibility to fix climate change and that no amount of zero waste careful consumer consumption can fix an industry-wide problem. I hope that you really enjoy Green Rising when it is released in September this year and if you are interested in other climate fiction titles I'm also the founder of the Climate Fiction Writers League, an organisation of over a hundred climate fiction authors from around the world. I organise a fortnightly newsletter with an essay and a discussion post from some of our members about their new releases so there are always going to be more climate fiction books to catch your interest.